Hi friends, this is Lila. Welcome to my channel. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to make this add post working. So now what we can do is so here this is the add post, right? Let's go here and let's go to the post.action.ts. So here we are having add post. Okay, and we will create another one is export constant here export constant add underscore post underscore success and here i can write something like post page here post page add post success we can do add post success right now this is the add post success and i can go to here now here i can write add post success okay here i will be having create action so here i can write add underscore post underscore success and the same thing you will be getting the props here okay so the same props we will be sending it here oh sorry we will be sending it here and this is the thing and now we can go to the red user and this add post here you will be having add post success on success we will be getting the data right state comma action and we need to import this add post success yeah we have imported and we can remove this add post and the state dot action post action dot post we have to and the id we will be getting it from the back end database no need to worry and the posts and everything we got the data okay perfect so we did the we have created add post and add post success and we got the data so now let's go to the add post component.ts and here we are posting add post of post okay done let's go to the post effects now here we will be writing the code uh, before writing the code what we will try to do is we will try to write the service for this one add post okay so this is the add post and you will be getting the data of type post here and we can take something like written we can take this url complete url we can take here but here we can do this dot http dot post we need to do the post here so post and here like this and here and we can send the post data okay so now this is the post data we are sending so add post we have did now in the post effects what we'll try to do is so here we can write add post dollar is equal to create effect we can write like this and i can write here create effect dollar so i will make the dispatch call so that we will try to see the data what is the data we are getting okay and now here i can write this dot actions dollar dot pipe of of type oh sorry of type i can write and i need to check for the add post right add post oh not add post success add post we need to check for the add post and we need to write match map of action you will be getting the action and here what i can write so here written this dot http dot so sorry not http post service dot add post of this action dot post we can send this action dot post we are already getting the data right so dot pipe of map we will be getting the data and let's console log log the data okay what is the data we are getting let console dot log it okay now if you try to go to the post here so let's try to check the output what it is happening here so in the console i went in the console if you go to the post here I'm not able to go to the post what is the reason happening object defined called a non-object something problem we got it create action dispatch false return this one and we are returning merge map everything is perfect correct only so here we are having okay uh, yeah, it's correct according to me what i think is correct only yeah i need to return this one see this is the thing we need to we will be forgetting all the time i think i hope this could be correct yeah now it's correct now let's go to the post thing 
now here if i go to the post i'm able to get the data if i click on add post and i am trying to add it here some data and if you go to the network so let's click on add post we got the add post here and if you see you are getting a data of some name and we are getting the id perfect we need to get we need to have the id right so what i can do here let's go into the into the post service okay here we are getting an observable of type name sorry so name of type string we are getting the data something like this right so here also you can write something like name of type string okay so you'll just simply return the data okay not a problem and if you go to the post fx we are getting the data here and we can remove this dispatch thing okay so there is no need to add this dispatch so here we are returning and we are getting the map of data data is nothing but the name we are having and here let's try to take the constant post is equal to let's try to frame the post data so you will be having here action action dot post right action dot post and we need to get the id id is nothing but we are getting it from the name so in the action dot post we will, we will be not having the id why because we are adding a post so we will be having only title and description we don't have the id so the id we are getting from the api call so we frame the data and here we will return add post success add post success of send this post and this post will be added into the state so this is the effect now if i try to see here if i try to see this one so now let's say try to see here now we will try to submit the data so click on add post yeah now let's try to submit hi lila post hi lila post okay and click on add post i hope this could be added so let's check it at the bottom yeah we got it added at the bottom see hi lila post hi lila post right so now we have successfully added the post data so if you want you can remove this all the post data if you want how can i remove this post data completely i can delete right so now if you go here and if i try to refresh this page let's see what will happen so post data nothing is there i am adding the first time hi leela and hi leela okay so it's a post and if i click here see it has been added successfully yeah we have got we have successfully added the post here so if you want you can make the routing to slash posts also you can make it you already know right you can write a redirect auth and you can uh, you can redirect that one okay so router dot navigate you can make it so this is how we will be making the add post in the similar way we can do the update post and also the delete post also we'll try to see now in the update post and delete post we'll try to see in the next video and afterward what we'll try to do is so up to now we have without log without login also we can see the post data we are able to see the post data right so if i click on add post we are able to see you are able to do everything so edit post also we are able to do so update thing we need to make a call ajax call we'll make it so we are able to do without without login also. without login the user also we are able to see the post so what we'll try to do is we have logged in right we need to send the token for this one if it is not logged in we need to we will be redirecting it to the auth login we'll try to see in the coming videos first after completing this update and delete we'll do the in the next videos these things okay so if, if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you